Hi! Welcome back to my channel, I'm Laura. This video is all about me decluttering my closet for two reasons. Number one, fall is starting next week for me. Maybe it has already started for you. That feels like a new beginning. That feels like a brand new start, like a fresh page, a blank page. So I love decluttering at the beginning of fall rather than in spring because you know what? It just feels like I need some fresh air and I always do that and I love it. And I even made a video last we week, <laughs> I even made a video last year when I was decluttering my closet also in fall. So I rewatched it and I loved this video. So if you want to watch that video, after this one you can because it's still on my channel it's very cute and i love it i wanted to make another one because i don't make enough decluttering videos i feel like i'm a youtuber who talks about minimalism and decluttering but that does the least number of videos dedicated to decluttering and minimalism <laughs> let's change that <laughs> So I'm going to show you everything that I'm doing today when it comes to decluttering my closet. I'm going to show you what, where, and how I'm going to do everything, how I'm going to go about things. But the second reason, I said there were two reasons as to why I'm doing this. So the second reason is I'm moving soon. I'm moving very, very soon. And if you've been following me on Instagram or even here, you know that, um, you know that I'm moving. And I want to go through my closet, go through my things and see what I want to bring with me because I don't want to pay for extra luggage if I'm not going to use the things that are in my suitcases and I just don't want to move with useless stuff basically. So that's it for the introduction to this video and I'm going to show you every single place <laughs> around my apartment where my clothes are and we're going to do some serious work together. I hope you're excited. I'm excited. Let's do this. So if you're new to minimalism and you haven't watched any decluttering videos ever and you don't know about the KonMari method, I'm going to recap it really quick. So I'm going to put everything on my bed here and that means every single thing is going to be there, whether I like it or whether I don't like it. And then I'm going to take everything in my hands. Like I'm going to pick everything up one thing at a time and I'm going to see if I feel anything about this thing, about this piece of clothing. So KonMari, like Marie Kondo, calls it see if it sparks joy. So if I notice that I'm happy, that I'm wearing this item often and I like how I feel in it, I'm going to keep it. If not, it's going to go on one of three piles. The recycle pile, the donate pile and the sell pile. So that's how we're going to do this. I hope you enjoy these types of videos. Oh, and one more thing. If you're not subscribed to my channel and you like the content that I'm making here on this channel, make sure to subscribe and make sure to click the bell icon so that you're notified whenever I post new videos. Follow me on Instagram where I post very, very nice pictures and very good content when it comes to my captions. I love writing my Instagram captions. They are so inspirational. So yeah, <laughs> self promo here. And if you get value from this channel and you'd like to support us, you can by becoming our patron. You can join our live AMAs and you can join our book club. So there's so much going on over there on my Patreon. So thank you so much to everyone who is already there, who is already my patron. And if you're considering becoming one, massive love to you. And if you subscribe and if you like this video, that's okay too. That helps the channel so much because YouTube algorithm likes this. So without further ado, <laughs> let's just deal with that. <laughs> I really want to get this done today, <laughs> preferably. So in order to understand where everything is, I highly recommend that you watch my last year's video, but we're going to start the same way as we did last year. And I'm going to show you my closet, which I think is in a very good shape. Um, so yeah, here is my closet, my sweaters, my long sleeves. Here is everything from skirts to shirts to dresses to um, cardigans. There's so much here. And here we have my pants and some bigger sweaters. So here it's pretty organized, I would say. I'm very proud of myself actually because it looks decent, <laughs> but it doesn't mean that it's decent everywhere. <laughs> here's my underwear drawer. I'm not going to show it to you, but here's my 
home clothing and my pajamas and my workout clothes. Lots of new stuff here. Tala, welcome. Um, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. There's not much work to be done here because I am... <laughs> I'm here pretty often. I bought all of these things in the last six months and I love them all, so I'm not going to declutter anything from here. But maybe something from here. I don't know. We'll see. Here's my ironing pile, and if you watched the video that I made last year, you probably recognize this. So here is everything that I need to iron. These are my things, and these are Pavo's things. So yeah, it's pretty cool here. Like, it's not bad, but it's going to get bad in a second. Here we have my t-shirts, and basically that's it. Only t-shirts. Um, nothing to see here. I'm going to declutter some of it because I haven't worn this in like a year, so yeah. Here's pretty good actually too. Here's where drama begins. Um, as I said, I am decluttering after my vacation. So I did many rounds of laundry and there are so many things that are just fresh out of laundry, <laughs> um, but I haven't put it anywhere. And that means that it's everywhere. So let me show it to you. Okay, this stuff, I don't even wanna talk about it. Not going to talk about that. And we are definitely not going to talk about that. All of that is going on my bed because now's the time for the big pile on the bed. All right, what am I doing? <laughs> so much cat hair. Oh, I was looking for this. Well, well, well. We're not even halfway through. There are some things that I'm not going to declutter here because I literally have nothing to declutter and that is my jackets and my coats. I have three and I use them all the time so I'm not going to put them here because I just know that it's no use. <laughs> and my shoes. Last year I decluttered my shoes and this year I don't have any new shoes and I still wear the same shoes over and over again. So I'm not going to do anything about shoes and my jackets, my outerwear. This time I'm going to only deal with the things I have most of, which is like <laughs> t-shirts <laughs> and long sleeves. I'm going back to this stuff. <laughs> also, it's almost 2 p.m. and I eat my lunch at three, so I think I'll have to order something in because I don't have anything <laughs> in my fridge. I only have like quinoa and chickpeas, but you can't eat just quinoa and chickpeas. So I think I'll order something in and yeah, that'll be... <laughs> I thought I could make this video and I, I thought I could do this. It's proving to be more of an undertaking than I thought it would be. Um, so yeah, I'll be here all day. <sighs> oh, what am I going to eat? Oh, what do I even want? Don't want anything that is going to be too greasy. All right, I found my order. I ordered vegan sushi, which isn't the best. I, I really like it. Like it's the best sushi that we can get in Wrocław. It always makes me feel a bit funny, but maybe it's because I over order and I eat too much. <laughs> so now I ordered just like the basic set and I'm going to eat that. So that's better than nothing. I'm going to show this sushi place in my um, Vratswa vegan guide. The food is sorted and now I can focus on that.
So I'm going to walk you through the process because they say that it's better when you start with easy items. Easy meaning you know you want to keep them. And that's what I've been doing. I have a pretty nice pile over here that I'm sitting on. <laughs> I'm on my floor. I know that it's a very good first step. But then you kind of run out of these things and there are some things that you're not so sure about. So let me show you what I mean. Like here is my favorite skirt and i love this skirt i i am obsessed with this skirt and i have three skirts and this is my favorite one i know i'm going to keep this this one i adore as well but the problem with that one is i haven't worn it in almost a year i think and i've lost a lot of weight not a lot like i've lost some weight but in a way that can be noticeable when it comes to wearing your old clothes like some of them are very very loose on me and they weren't a year ago and i need to try this on see if it fits but the thing is you have to decide based on how it makes you feel right now and right now i love it but i don't know and it's going to go on the maybe keep pile and the last skirt that i have is right here <laughs> and it's also a denim skirt. When I bought it, that was my first denim skirt, and I bought it, I think, in 2017, and I was so happy about it. I was so proud of myself that I bought a denim skirt because before 2017 or even, like, 16, my style was non-existent. If I feel like it, I'll show you some photos of how I was dressing myself, like, my... Ugh, ugh. I mean, that was good in the moment, like I felt myself when I was wearing these things, but I would never wear a skirt like that. So when I bought it, I was super, super happy and I was wearing it all the time. But now it kind of reminds me of these times where I was not so sure and I was not so confident and I was trying to find myself and find my style. So whenever I see this skirt, I'm like, I feel like I'm... 22 again but you know like you probably have these items that kind of remind you of good times but also remind you of how you were feeling when you were wearing them and what i remember most from this skirt is trying to look pretty trying to look girly and trying to find myself but knowing at the same time knowing that it's not the right fit for me so it's going on the maybe pile i'll try it on like you're not supposed to try things on and then see if you want to keep them according to the KonMari method, but I don't care. I'm going to see if that fits because again, I don't want to bring anything to London that I'm not going to wear there because I want to save some room in my suitcases. So yeah, let's continue. All right, so this is my keep pile. Like, it is decent, it is nice. Like, I can see me wearing these things and I'm definitely keeping them, but how the hell <laughs> Is the maybe pile the same size? How did that happen? Look, maybe? Yes. They are exactly the same. Like, I'm so confused. How did that happen? Of course, I know how it happened, but it's like, damn. All right, an item of clothing that I'm definitely keeping um, is this dress. You saw it in my first web video. You saw it in my um, other videos. You saw it on my Instagram. I always wanted a white dress with long sleeves and I feel like a princess whenever I wear it and I love it so much. So I'm keeping this dress and to contrast this with something that I'm not keeping is this dress. So it has a lot of cat hair, I'm sorry, <laughs> but it's like, it has this um, cleavage, droplet cleavage, and I don't know if I'm so adventurous anymore, and on top of that, it's very, very short, so hmm, I think I'm going to sell it, because it's still high quality, it's still good, but I don't think it's a good fit for me anymore. <sighs> so far so good um here are things that i'm keeping here are things that i'm not sure about and there are no things that i'm donating or throwing away at the moment so i think that i'm going to have some difficult time um making difficult decisions with the rest of this pile <laughs>
problem with these jeans, these mom jeans, is that when I was buying them, I knew that they were just the right size, but I was in the process of losing weight. So now every time I wear them, when they're fresh out of laundry, they are perfect but i can't wear them more than once because the fabric is elastic <laughs> it's elastic no it's not elastic it has elastane or spandex and the thing is it gets too loose on me and i bought these and i love these i bought them in berlin in a very cute um, boutique and i love the wearing them <laughs> around berlin but i think that they're not the right fit for me anymore they're going on the maybe pile. And by the way, the maybe pile is huge. And as I told you before with my skirts, there are so many things on this maybe pile that I'm just so not sure about because I changed as a person. And first of all, my style has changed over the years. But secondly, like I'm no longer the person that I was when I was wearing these things. And I sometimes, like, I don't know if I'm too emotional or too sensitive. Oh, that's my food! I'm going to eat it in a second. Let me just finish my thought. So whenever I attach to something, like a person or a thing, um, it's a commitment for me. So all of these clothes mean something to me. Whether that's a period of my life, whether that's a moment, whether that's how I was feeling, who I was when I was wearing these things, all of them represent something to me. And I think that I'm at a point in my life where after therapy and self-discovery and all that jazz, I just want to let go of some elements of my past and of my past self. And I feel like these clothes represent the elements that I want to let go of and they will make room for the person I'm becoming. So yeah, a bit philosophical, um, a bit um, deep. <laughs> That's not just a decluttering video, but let's um, balance it out with my food because I'm really starving. <laughs> and I'm giggling all the time. What is this? What is that? What's happening to me? That's my sushi and I'm going to say it. I never eat the ginger and I never eat wasabi. I hate ginger, I hate spicy things, <laughs> so I'm just like, I always eat just the sushi and I dip it in soy sauce and that's it. So that's my break. All right, I've eaten my lunch, it was very good and I'm feeling fine, so that's a good sign. I'm going back to this mess, this beautiful mess. The bed is clear, but I'm faced with a situation I have never been faced with in my entire life. You have to see this. All right, so this is my keep pile. Like, it is decent, it is nice. Like, I can see me wearing these things and I'm definitely keeping them. But how the hell is the maybe pile the same size? How did that happen? Look, maybe, yes. They are exactly the same. Like I'm so confused. How did that happen? Of course I know how it happened, but it's like, damn. If I know I want to try some of the maybe things on to see if I want to keep them, but that's going to take years. How did I do this? Why am I so undecided? Oh! <laughs> I think we've got it. <laughs> so this is the keep pile. There is no maybe pile anymore. Hold on. There we go. There we go. So this is the keep pile and 
I'm keeping everything that is in here and I'm standing where the maybe pile used to be. Not anymore. This is the sell pile. I'm going to sell the things that are here. I'm going to sell them on um, some websites like Vinted and yeah, hopefully they'll get new owners that will love them. Here we have a very small but adorable um, donate pile and here we have throwing away pile which is a bit sad but um yeah <laughs> that's what you get when you um throw things away i mean throw away means recycle so i have a local recycling um company that recycles clothes and that upcycles them later i i'm pretty sure that it's upcycling rather than recycling but yeah recycle slash upcycle donation selling and keeping <laughs> so now we have to put everything away the only thing that bothers me is that in like a month or a month and a half i'm going to take it all out again because i'm going to be moving so it's kind of pointless but at the same time i don't want to live with these piles i want to have everything in my closet <laughs> it's just i'm thinking about the future and getting anxious ahead of time when i could be getting anxious just once not twice so i'm not going to think about it i'm going to fold everything and put it away and be happy about the results <laughs> So hi, it's the next day. I finished going through everything at 10 p.m. yesterday and I was already too tired to film anything. So now I'm going to show you how I store my clothes, how I coordinated everything, where everything is. And it's always the most inspirational part of videos like these for me because I get so inspired. I want to remember about folding whenever I see people's folded clothes. <laughs> So I want to show you everything and yeah, it's very similar to how I stored everything before It's just it's updated refreshed some things are not there anymore because you know that I'm going to be either selling or donating them So yeah, let me show you the final version and of course Nothing's here anymore. Okay, let me show you. All right guys. So this is my final results and as you can see everything is pretty much the same as I showed you before, but the only thing that is different is that there is less clutter and fewer clothes and more space as a result. As you can see, there are some hangers that don't have anything on them. Everything is color coordinated and I love it this way. So this is my closet, my open closet. Here you can see my pants, my sweaters and my sweatshirts and some shorts right here. Now let's open the drawer, which is full Oh, but beautiful <laughs> everything color coordinated kind of um, but everything fits so here are my workout clothes and my comfy clothes and my pajamas there you go and here's my underwear drawer and you're not going to see anything in there <laughs> so as for the shelves nothing to see here and this is the final place where I keep my clothes these are my t-shirts and anything that is basically a top so yeah that's it and I can close it now and voila and that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and if you want more minimalism related content please let me know down in the comments what kind of videos you would like me to make and i'll be very very happy to make them for you and if you like my videos and you're not subscribed yet hello what are you doing subscribe to my channel now and click the bell icon so that you're notified whenever i post new videos i'm super grateful for all of your subscriptions and all of your comments and likes so make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it also follow me on instagram if you'd like to see more of my daily life you can join our free Facebook group. You can become a patron of this channel if you're getting value from us. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.